What's up, eScape Builders? Thanks for tuning in to another Inertion Electric Skateboards video. My name's Jason Potter. I'm the founder of Inertion Boards. I'm also the founder of the Electric Skateboard Builders Forum. In this video, we're going to show you the best builds from a recent competition we ran. Back in November 2018, Inertion released the Aspect Drive Kit. It's basically a box full of motors and trucks and wheels, all the good stuff to make a really powerful electric skateboard. It's the same stuff we use to make the Raptor electric skateboard. And we made it available in a simple package so builders across the globe can buy this kit and put together their own version of a Raptor electric skateboard. So we're really excited to go through the different builds that people have made here. Some of them are amazing. We're gonna go through them one by one and at the end, we're going to announce the winner. So tune into the end and you'll see the best builds. Okay, finalist number one, the Stealth Bomber. This thing this looks like a fully custom deck this guy's made here. Fully integrated enclosure. I'm pretty sure this deck is carbon fiber with maybe a wood core. It's got a built-in components housing, a lid, hinges, or like some sort of release button so you can open the hinge. It's really next level stuff um, coming out of the Eastgate Builders Forum. This is a perfect example of awesome innovations and you know making stuff happen on small scale. It's really amazing to see. Not only is it a full custom deck here, it looks like there's a custom cell holder that's designed to fit in the cavity. I'm not exactly sure how it all goes together, but it's really unique. It's really different. I think maybe it screws together. I'm not exactly sure of the details there, but it looks very unique, very different. And a lot of cells look like they're, they've been stacked up. So plenty of power inside this board. Looks very professional. I can see that it's probably a, a shorter wheelbase than my um, personal preference. It looks, maybe this is based on like a, I think it's a Jet Spud build, a little bit shorter wheelbase, a little bit of a kick tail there. So it's gonna be super agile, super crazy to ride, no doubt. I'd love to give this a ride. And yeah, there's, check out the, the full build thread on the forum. If you've got any questions about this build, We've got a link in the bottom to this and you can check it out there. Okay, on to finalist number two, Nico from Berlin. This is, looks like an Evolve from the top, an Evolve Bamboo GT. So any Evolve lovers, check this thing out until you turn it over, then it looks like a Raptor. So this is an impressive build, most notably the enclosure design is the standout feature of this build. It looks like a modular kind of system that locks together. So I assume that allows you to expand your battery perhaps if you wanted to or shrink it, make it smaller. But it all locks together. Everything has a place in this thing. The Foxbox Unity, it, it's like everything's routed around it and, and planned out so it all fits together. Uh, very neat, very tidy. Um, little spot for the switch and voltmeter. The wiring, the neatness inside this closure is next level. That is so neat. All the wire lengths are perfect. It's a custom made battery as well using 18650 cells. It looks like it's, is that a, or is that just a cell? He's made a, a special holder for cells um, so he can make his custom battery pack custom welder it's yeah it's a really awesome build if you want more details on this go over to the eastgate builders forum and check that out because very impressive and i'm pretty sure uh anyone over at evolve who sees this is going to be uh stealing a few of your ideas because it is a weapon we might see some direct drive evolve boards coming out soon that look very similar congratulations nico Good work. Okay, finalist number three. We've got a high fiber build here. So if those of you who don't know high fiber, they're a deck manufacturer originally 
making decks for downhill longboarding. It's carbon fiber top and bottom. It's got a blue weave, very nice. Uh, so this builds by Shenian 79. Good work, Shenian 79. A lot of effort has gone into the design of this enclosure by the looks of it. I'm pretty sure this is a 3D printed system here that fits together. It's got a removable lid that slides out to one side. That's quite unique. I haven't seen too many builds like that. It's got a bucket load of lipos inside it, which due to this lid being able to slide out to the side like that, you can just pull the batteries out and throw another set in off the charger. Uh, it's set up here with the crossover wheel, so it looks very beasty. It's got a, uh, what is this, a, a bike light on the front and the rear. Yeah, absolute, looks like a beast, this thing. Um, got some, what's that, some red, a red's bearing sticker on it. So a little bit of decoration there, orangutan stickers. It's got a built-in fan. How about that? So to extract hot air, I'm assuming, out of the enclosure quite unique you don't see that too many times on the builds these days very neat inside a place for everything so congratulations there what a great build you should be very proud of that one okay finalist number four this is a build from Nehru 37 i hope i got that name right Nehru 37 uh the low rider fits under a boosted boards this thing super low super sleek drop down deck the deck's actually a hummy deck. This is another uh, community member who makes the deck. So a good little collaboration here. Supposedly this has got airplane friendly batteries. It's, it's a really innovative battery concept here. It looks like eight cells in a group in custom made cell holders and they disconnect from each other. Yeah, super interesting. So I think the idea here is you pull each group apart and then because it's smaller than the, the main battery when it's separated, it's also airline friendly. So it'd be cool if that actually um, becomes something that is available to everyone because what a cool idea that is. So yeah, super slim, low-lying low line build here. Very stealthy, nice looking deck. Nice timber um, accents, dark timber accents running through that deck, which I quite like the look of. And yeah, very impressive build. Carbon fiber, is it carbon fiber on the top? I think so. Um, so yeah, great build there. Lots of new ideas there as well. So great work, Nehru 37. Okay, a special mention goes out to Blasto. Blasto can't actually win this competition because he's actually an Inertion team member. So, can't win. Sorry, Blasto. But, you got a sweet build. So, let's do a quick run through and have a look. So, this is a Haya deck. It's a monocoque design, which is basically one deck with the cavities cut into them. So, there's no separate enclosure. Basically, just a lid goes on top. So, super sleek looking design and some people might not be able to tell it's an electric skateboard because there's no obvious thing sticking out of it. It's also four wheel drive. It has four of these massive RSpec hub motors on it. So in terms of performance, this thing is ridiculous. I don't, I'm not sure uh, many people can handle this thing, but uh, let's dive in and let's, let's see what's going on here. It's, a really interesting design here because it's basically two separate modules because the deck has two separate cavities with a spine down the middle. So Blasto has actually custom designed a PCB here that the cells all fit onto, everything mounts to, um, and there's two of them and they join together inside the cavities there. But the cool thing is on the flip side of this PCB, there's a whole bunch of LEDs, and there's also a custom circuit there that allows you to use the Nano X controller to turn your lights on and off. Right now, we have the Haya, Haya board with uh, dual Foxbox Unity. Let's turn it on. Oh! It's 
It's also got some custom riser pads, front and rear, one for the charging port, one for the on off switch. So some really, uh, really cool ideas there. A nice little compact LED display just to show you the battery level. So uh, five little LEDs there that uh, turn off as your battery depletes. So some really cool things there, but unfortunately Blasto, you can't win mate, but great work nonetheless. Okay, drum roll. Are you ready to see the winner? This build is nuts. It's called the Solar Bone Breaker 2.0. This is on another level, this thing. Let's dive in and see exactly what's going on here. So firstly, this guy, Mike G60D, first off, he makes a full custom hanger for the motors. So to get a, a wider track width, basically. So it's like, it's pretty much a, a direct design copy of the standard ones, but just much wider. So a wider track width for the motors. And obviously he had to make a front truck to match that as well so that the front and rear trucks match. So that's the, the first big achievement here. So amazing work there. So much work has gone into that to make that look amazing. Um, now, the next crazy thing, this has got solar panels in it. It's the top of the deck has been routed out uh, to allow these little solar panel and a, a solar panel array to be epoxied into the top of the deck. Now that's crazy. That's probably one of the best implementations I've seen of that, but it doesn't stop there. It, this, this guy's got some cool stuff going on. He's got a head up display for his helmet. He's got a glove that is how you control the throttle. Um, that'd be, yeah, I want to try that out. That'd be interesting to see. But overall, this build is just on another level. Um, very clean. It's a carbon fiber deck. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a Tramper, Tramper Cruiser, something like that. And it has a carbon fiber enclosure on the bottom. Very, very neat, very sleek. It's even got some Hot Wheels, little uh, design elements there. But overall, this is just an amazing build. The integrated solar panels, all the uh, other neat gadgets, um, the custom CNC componentry. So congratulations, that is our pick of the best build. So congratulations to all of the people who put in the hours and made awesome builds. It's gonna be great inspiration for anyone else out there looking to build some really awesome electric skateboards with your effort, your time, everyone's time that went into documenting your builds and uploading them onto the forum. It's a huge inspiration. And unfortunately you all can't win, but the prize goes to Mike G60D with a great build. Congratulations, Mike. And that's it. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all feel inspired now to take up this amazing hobby or sport or whatever you want to call it but building electric skateboards is fun for everyone young and old and the cool thing about it is we're making really amazing vehicles that you can actually use in your day-to-day -day activities getting to work getting groceries getting going to the shop whatever you want you know they can be used for racing it's it's such an exciting time amazing build better than i've ever seen and i'm absolutely blown away so thank you all for watching i'll see you on the next one